Hello everyone, this video will talk about amblyopia. Amblyopia is a unilateral or, less commonly, bilateral reduction of best corrected visual acuity that cannot be attributed directly to the effect of any structural abnormality of the eye or visual pathways. Risk factors of amblyopia. Prematurity. Developmental delay. First degree relative with amblyopia. Classification of amblyopia based on causes. Strabismic amblyopia. Unilateral amblyopia is associated with strabismus in 19% to 50% of cases. This illustration illustrates what occurs with strabismic amblyopia. A squint in the left eye leads to confusion resulting from the superimposition of two different images, thus resulting in the visual cortex becoming dominated by input from the fixating eye with reduced responsiveness to input from the squint eye. Refractive amblyopia. Dissimilar refractive errors in the two eyes cause one retinal image to be chronically defocused. Unilateral amblyopia is associated with anisometropia in 46% to 79% of cases. Visual deprivation amblyopia. It is the least common form of amblyopia, but the most severe and difficult to treat. It's due to an eye abnormality that obstructs the visual axis or interferes with central vision. The most common cause is congenital or early acquired cataract. Other causes include blepharoptosis, corneal opacities, and vitreous hemorrhage. The etiologies of amblyopia can be easily remembered with the following mnemonic, SOS, strabismus, occlusion, spectacles. Patients with unilateral amblyopia are often asymptomatic. Occasionally, patients will complain that one eye is blurry. Or mother may notice abnormal head position. Amblyopia should be considered as a possible diagnosis in children with asymmetric visual behavior or acuity testing results. Physical examination. Acuity testing. Single letter are not recommended to use because this will tend to underestimate the degree of amblyopia due to the effect of crowding phenomenon. Subjective refraction. External examination, looking for ptosis, lid hemangioma, or other lesion which could affect visual development. Motility and ocular alignment. Anterior segment examination, looking for any media opacity or irregularity. Presence of absence of an afferent pupil defect. Tests of stereopsis and binocular function. Cycloplegic retinoscopy. Fundoscopic examination. Early detection is the key for prevention. Amblyopia is reversible with timely intervention so all children should have periodic vision screenings as the potential for successful treatment is greatest in young children. Several strategies are used to improve visual acuity in amblyopia. Correct refractive errors that are likely to cause diminished visual acuity. Promote use of the amblyopic eye by occluding the fellow eye. Surgical management in order to eliminate any obstruction of visual axis. Refractive correction plays a key role in the treatment of all types of amblyopia, not just refractive amblyopia. Many ophthalmologists thus initiate amblyopia treatment with refractive correction. There are numerous strategies for encouraging the use of the amblyopic eye, widely used are patching and pharmacological treatment. Patching of the non-amblyopic eye to improve the acuity of the amblyopic eye is the most commonly used technique to treat amblyopia. Patching compliance is a major concern, so compliance can be bolstered by parental education and improving parental attitudes towards patching therapy. Studies showed that in children who have moderate amblyopia, 20 40ths to 20 80ths, an initial therapy of two hours of daily patching produces an improvement in visual acuity that is similar into the improvement produced by six hours daily patching. Pharmacological treatment produces cycloplegia to defocuses the non-amblyopic eye, most often with atropine 1% solution. Recent study showed results with weekend-only dosing to be similar to daily dosing for moderate amblyopia. Amblyopia itself is not a surgical condition, but there are times when surgery may treat the underlying cause of the amblyopia. Refractive surgery may be used to correct anisometropia. Eye muscle surgery can correct strabismus. Vitrectomy, cataract or ptosis surgery may alleviate causes of deprivation.